Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining me for a read aloud and activity. I'm Miss Christie, the K Prep teacher at Valley View Elementary, and behind me is Stripe, our class pet. And today, for a read aloud, I've chosen Walter's Wonderful Web by Tim Hopsgood. And this story is about one of my favorite things spiders. And also, we're gonna learn about some shapes. So let's get started with Walter's wonderful web. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web, just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. So one morning, he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of a, what shape do you think he made? Let's find out. A triangle. And a triangle has three sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a, if you said square, you're right. And a square has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and started again. <sighs> this time he made a longer web in the shape of a rectangle. And a rectangle has two long and two short. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed, then he stretched his leg and made a taller web in the shape of a diamond. Whoosh, whoosh went the wind and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's? First perfect web. Nearly. It wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect circle and it looked strong. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up. But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath. Can everyone do that? Take a deep breath in and blow it out and set to work. <clears throat> Wish went the wind, but didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. These shapes are shown in this book. So I wanna see how much you remember about the shapes we just learned. Which shape is a triangle? If you said the yellow one, you're right. And how many sides does a triangle have? Three, three sides. Which shape is a square? You're right, the green one. And how many sides does a square have? Four, remember all four sides are equal. Which shape is a rectangle? That's right, the orange one. Remember, too long? and two short and two plus two equals four which shape is a diamond 
How many sides does a diamond have? You're right. That's the red shape, and it has four sides. Which shape is a circle? That's our blue one. Does a circle have any sides? Nope. You guys did a great job answering those questions about shapes. And here's our friend Walter. All right. And for our activity day, to go along with Walter's wonderful web, you're going to need a piece of white paper, a pencil, and some markers. And the first step of our activity is to think about what shape you want your web to be. Remember, we talked about squares, triangles, diamonds. So go ahead and draw the shape you want your web to be on your paper. I'm going to choose a square. And once you have your shape drawn, I want you to draw that same shape in the inside of the shape you just drew. And you're going to keep doing that until you end up with a little shape in the middle. So something like this. All right. And then you're going to find your small little shape in the middle and you're going to find one of the corners and you're going to draw a diagonal line from that corner to the outside of your big shape and you're going to do that for all of your corners of your little shape to help make your web All right, so here is mine. I can't wait to see yours when you're finished. And once you have that, now you have to decide where you want to put your little spider. And for our spider, we're going to use the circle shape. So go ahead and draw a circle somewhere on your web. And how many legs does a spider have? You're right eight legs so you're going to draw four legs on each side of your spider let's count together one two three four and if you can see my little spider see i have four legs on one side and we're going to start with the number five now and count up to eight Five, six, seven, eight. And once you finish your legs, don't forget to add some eyes and a mouth to your spider. And now it's time to add some more details to your picture. So you can get out your markers, crayons, whatever you brought with you, and add some details. I'm going to draw a sun on my picture maybe some flowers and clouds so you can go ahead and add some details to your picture think about what your spider could be doing in your in your picture is he in a tree? Is he on the ground? You could even draw another friend on the web. Have two spiders if you wanted. All right. So you can keep working on yours. As you can see, I've added a little flower to my picture and a sun. You guys can keep adding more to your pictures. 
And when you're finished, you can have someone who's with you take a picture of it and add it in the comments below because I can't wait to see what shapes you chose. And I wanted to say thanks for joining us for another read aloud and activity. And Stripe and I miss you guys very much and can't wait to be back in the classroom with you. Have a great rest of your day.